The Gauteng Department of Education's online admissions application process for all learners to Grade 1 and Grade 8 in 2023 is starting at 8 in the morning on the 22nd of July and ends at midnight on the 19th of August 2022. Placement will commence on the 3rd of October and end on the 30th of November 2022. In this video, you will be guided through applying for your child to be admitted to Grade 1 or Grade 8 in a public primary or secondary school for the 2023 academic year. To access the admissions online application system, you need to log on to www.gdeadmissions.gov.za on any smartphone or computer. This will take you to the admissions homepage where you need to click on Register to begin the five-step application process. Step one is parent or guardian registration. First, you need to complete the personal details form and create a username and password. After you enter your ID number, a DHA validation box will appear where you need to type in all the consonants in your name and surname as it appears in your ID document. You may continue to apply even if your ID number cannot be validated, but please visit the Department of Home Affairs to have your ID number corrected. Ensure that you provide your cell phone number correctly and complete all the compulsory fields that have a red asterisk. After filling in all your personal details, you will receive a one-time PIN or OTP on your cell phone. Confirm your one-time PIN by filling it in in the space provided on the system and then click OK. Then click on Next Step. A Terms and Conditions notice will appear. Read through these Terms and Conditions, select the Accept Terms and Conditions box and click OK to proceed to Step 2. Step 2 is Address Details. On this page, you will need to fill in your current home address and then select the correct address from a drop-down list. Please ensure that you spell your street name and area correctly and provide your correct house number. If the correct address is not found, click the Can't Find Home Address option for a more advanced search. This will allow you to select your address by placing a pin on a map of the area where your home is. Alternatively, if you are completing this application from your actual home address, you can click on the Use My Location button. If you use the My Location option, there is no need to move the red pin. The system will pick up on the address of the applicant's location at the time of making the application. Once the correct address appears, click Select Location. A confirmation message will appear with the selected address. If the address is correct, click Continue and then Submit. The next page asks for the parent's work address. You only need to complete this section if you want to apply to a school close to your work address. Once done, click Submit to receive an SMS with your username and password. The username and password that you created when registering the parent details will be sent to your cell phone via SMS. This must be kept safely to access your application at a later time. Step 3 is Learner Registration. On this page, you need to complete all learner registration details. Complete all the compulsory fields marked with the red asterisk. After you've filled in all the compulsory fields, you need to click on the Apply to Schools button. Step 4 is Applying to Schools. In this step, you need to apply to schools by completing the school application form online. When applying to a school, it is important to remember that the following criteria are taken into account and are shown here in order of priority. Number 1. Home address within school feeder zone. Number 2. Sibling or previous schools. Number 3. Work address within the school feeder zone. Number 4. Home address within a 30 km radius. Number 5. Home address beyond a 30 km radius. Number 6. Schools of specialization. Remember, when you select or click on home address within school feeder zone, the system will generate a list of all schools with feeder zones that cover your home address 
based on the address you filled in in step 2. You will be able to select schools from a drop-down list. From the Application Option field, you can select one of the following application options. Option 1. Home address within the school's feeder zone. Remember that placement priority is given to applicants that live within the school's feeder zone. You may select a maximum of three schools at the same time. The second option is sibling or previous school. This option allows you to select a maximum of two schools for previous school and one school when using the sibling application option. You cannot use the sibling application option to apply to grade one or grade eight at a school where the child's sibling is currently in grade seven or grade 12. You may use the previous school application option only if your child's current school is in the feeder zone of the high school that you are applying to. Option three is work address within school feeder zone. This applies to applications made to schools with feeder zones that cover the parent's work address. You can only select one school at a time for this option. Option four is home address within 30 kilometers. You can use this option if you would like to send your child to a school with a feeder zone that does not cover your home address, but is within a 30 kilometer radius. You can only select one school at a time for this option. Option five, home address beyond 30 kilometers. You can use this option to apply to a school with a feeder zone that is beyond a 30 kilometer radius of your home. You can only select one school at a time in this option. The final option is schools of specialization. You can only select one school of specialization at a time. As part of the process, you would need to answer four screening questions before applying to a school. Your child would need to pass an admissions test, audition or sporting trial to be placed at one of these schools. Once you have completed this section, you can submit your application. A thank you confirmation page is displayed with the reference number for the learner application. This is also sent to the cell phone number that you filled in earlier when you registered parent details. This does not mean that your child has been accepted at that school. It only confirms that the application has been submitted. After submitting the application, you have the option to apply to more schools, register another learner, upload documents, go to the dashboard, take a quick survey, or log out. Please note that you can apply to a maximum of five schools for each learner. Step five is uploading documents for submission. You will be able to upload documents by using the upload function on the system. All schools applied to will be able to view these uploaded documents. Parents who are unable to upload documents can hand deliver certified copies of their documents to all the schools applied to. Note that certified copies of documents must be uploaded or submitted within seven days after making the application. The document status will only reflect after you have uploaded or submitted it and it has been verified by the school. If you edit your address and personal details, including ID number, after submitting an application, all details on the parent portal will be completely deleted and you will have to register and apply again. A summary of all the details you have entered into the system can be seen on the My Profile page. You only have one opportunity to edit your address details during the application period. If you edit your personal details, including ID number, all details on the parent portal will be completely deleted and you will have to re-register and reapply. After the five-step application, the online application process is complete. Expect to receive an SMS with an offer of placement from the 3rd of October to the 30th of November 2022. Once you receive an offer, you have seven days to log into the system and click Accept. Space will be reserved for your child at the school where you accepted the first offer as long as no other offers are accepted. If you accept an offer from another school, the space first offered will no longer be available. 
Once the final offer is accepted, your child is officially placed at that school. Play your part. Apply online for Grade 1 and or Grade 8 to secure space at a Gauteng public school. Applications open on the 22nd of July till the 19th of August 2022.